Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So Anthem fans know very well that EA and Bioware had virtually no interest in Anthem. You know, they have promised a lot of things, but things didn't manifest. And there was a lot of speculation about the franchise and about, you know, the future of the franchise, even though they had this thing called Anthem Next. But, you know, here we have an official statement by Christian Daly saying that the game is basically dead. More like this is what EA decided for the game, because it didn't turn out to be, you know, the next Fortnite that they hoped. And here they say, friends, in the space of transparency, and where is the transparency in there? Because you people have been silent for a very long time. Anyway, let's carry on. And closure, we wanted to share that we have made the difficult decision to stop our new development work on Anthem. Like, I don't even know if they have worked on it in any big scale. I don't think that they have. Otherwise, why would they, you know, decide to stop the development? I think this word of development was just like rough ideas and nothing concrete. At least that's my opinion. They carry on here. They say we will, however, continue to keep Anthem Live service running as it is today. And of course, here they speak about, you know, some of the past and they speak here about 2020 and the bug that happened in 2020. So they're trying to make probably excuses or trying to explain why they have taken that decision. And here they try to sympathize, you know, with the audience, with the fans. And they say here, Christian Daly says, I know this will be disappointing to the community of Anthem players, obviously, who have been excited to see the improvements we have been working on. He carries on, it's also disappointing for the team who are doing brilliant work. And for me personally, Anthem is what brought me to Bioware. And the last two years have been some of the most challenging and rewarding experiences of my career. Yeah, PR stuff in there. And they say here that the decisions are not easy to take, blah, 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 blah. And you can go to Twitter and you see the reaction of everyone. Obviously, no one is happy. And what would you expect of EA? They do have, you know, some pleasant surprises once in a blue moon. But that's just it. Otherwise, EA wanted this game to be, you know, the next Fortnite. They wanted it to be this kind of live service. So they didn't invest in other possibilities. Person here says it's EA's fault, of course, because EA is responsible for Bioware. I mean, they own the studio. So yeah, another person here, you know, the memes are all over the place. Another person here said, Rip, what a waste of good art and a good franchise idea. Another person here says, that's what happens when you waste time and talent on a game clearly thought up as a storefront instead of a game. That's EA. They want to milk you and, you know, nickel and dime everything from you. The person here says, not so bad to have on a resume, though that art stands on its own and that's probably what makes you know people very disappointed with anthem because it had a lot of potential and it was just killed because there were a lot of greedy people in fact ea itself is the definition of greed so yeah the game didn't fall under the right hands if you ask me another person here says this game would have been a masterpiece if it was single player, story driven and invested on the lore, not the typical good guys versus bad guys story. It was more like one of those games that should have a story and the lore behind it. Another person here says, good job, all my money wasted and hopes gone. You disappoint many. And we can just scroll down here and you can see that everyone is not really happy about the decision. I think it is understandable that we have this scale of disappointment from people who love the game, but I think they should have seen this coming because Anthem was pretty dead for a very long time, even before this official statement. So this is more like the final nail on the coffin, if you will. In a way, thank you for watching. I don't want to drag on this too much. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more. Leave your comments down below and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good one.